Hello, welcome to Hayward Connect. We're excited to speak to you today from around the world. We're so excited to have Patricia Urquiel as our guest today. We hope you are enjoying these Connect sessions in this time. It's been great that Hayward can sponsor speakers on various topics and connect to us wherever we are about relevant topics. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Feel free to go in the chat and tell us where you're from and everybody can feel a sense of community. Today, as we think about the um, session, just a few notes to help yourself have a better experience. Google Chrome generally works the best and also um, close all your open browsers and in settings you can change to uh, the, the 360. Um, and whether you're using Teams or the Web Connect, either one can work. Um, and you can always message and if we see particular comments where you're struggling, we'll try to help you. Uh, much of the video connection is due to the internet speed in your own market. So those are just some tips for um, using and we love your feedback. We switched to a new platform and we hope we have a great event today in the new virtual world of work. I want to introduce our speaker today. We are so excited to have Patricia Urquiola. She is an architect, a designer, a lecturer, and for me, a personal friend. And I so enjoy working with her and her team. Um, she has been the art director of Casinas since 2015. She's been working with Hayworth since 2014. And what is so amazing about Patricia is her ability to design, whether it's a hotel or a product or automotive or furniture, um, you name it, she's done it um, at a very small scale to a large scale. Um, she's a native of Spain, living in Milan, Italy with her studio. Um, and she, her works are featured in museums around the world from London to New York. And um, I think today we just want to have a discussion with Patricia about what's on her mind in the world of design, share some of her work. And um, at the end, we'll have a Q&A session. So you have particular questions, you can log them into the chat and we'll do that. So Patricia, hello, good afternoon to you. Hello, Kurt, I am here in my home in Milano. Yeah, it's great to see you, we're excited today. We have lots of people online from all over the world um, and they're just connecting virtually and we're just excited to listen to your talk today. So mm -hmm. I'll, take, I'll, I'll let you take it away. Well, um, let's talk a little bit. Then um, I, I, I'm going to speak to to you uh, through through my notes, and my notes are images. Then, um, more than seeing me, you are going to see my my images, and then we we are gonna we are gonna go through them. I, I know we are speaking about designing in this in a in a virtual world. Well. Uh, uh, the same in Arakamuka was connected a little bit with um, uh, with Hayward, uh, this company that we are working for seven years. And uh, um, one of the first images came to my mind immediately was this photo of uh, uh, of the headquarters in in Holland, in Michigan, and uh, in winter, the winter which is so long, and uh, and um, where the snow is. Um, Frozen everything, and I remember that the first years, echo you from from Hayward didn't want me to, to make a um, arrive to 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 Michigan in that period because they would say no, she's Mediterranean, she's living, uh, uh, she's she, she's gonna be uh, a little bit afraid of this circumstance of a frozen frozen situation, and and it was just the contrary because I think that I I, I always remember that that uh, in the moment I arrived there in in in. in in, in, in the winter, I, I began to think, echo, then th th these pe people have to be, be really adaptable to this kind of circumstance that is going through many months, the, the long winter. And uh, was the contrary, in my mind was a, an instrument, you know, like, you know, the Fargo uh, film, uh, the, the police, the, <laughs> the police woman that is, uh, uh, became more intelligent and more, more, more clever. She gets on the, on the, on the intent, she understands how to move. And, and she get more connected. Then I think we never, we always have a lot of prejudices. We have to always to break them. I, uh, to, 
to to work uh, in this um, um, strong connection, working with them in design, in many in, in architecture, in 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 many in many layers of the company, um, and being far away needed a lot of virtual work obviously, but a lot of travels and connections. And I, I love those images when I am a little bit perplexed in the middle I have of, of nowhere and um, asking myself if it was a good idea. But uh, what I want to say, possibly, I come back with the image they have before, possibly, because um, we are speaking about virtual word, but word, but I think it was just a beginning of giving me a, a word to, 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 to begin to, to speak. It's virtual word, but it's inside a real word. And, and I think um, the good news, I think, in, in the moment we are living, which is so 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 special and uh, uh, so dramatic and so complex, I call, is that the only good news is we understand that we are all uh, designers. If we have an intent, as we know, um, the community is large. And if we, if we interact all of us, perhaps we can find many solutions. Uh, we have to find ways. I, what I like of this image, which is uh, a kind of extended portrait of my of my face, is, is you know when when you are in between two words, as as when you are doing design, you are in between um, the, the crafted and, and the prototyping and the and the little things uh, uh, come into your mind to solve in a very simplified way. And in between that word, which is really real, there's another side which is the complexity of the virtuality, which can be you can reach incredible things. Then in the middle of them, when you are trying to, to put your personal portrait from reality to virtual, you need to do the standard surface. Then you do the mapping and then you can get yourself in a digital world. And we are in, in reality design, we are in the middle. In this moment, we are a little bit like uh, birds in, in, in our cages and uh, uh, that's complex echo and uh, that is an, an image from outside from my patio because I a few years ago I wanted to have house and a studio all together to have more transparency in the way I was running a family a work a studio um, all the things were together in my life uh, there was not designed for me is <laughs> as, as Alice Roster was remember as is an attitude and uh, uh, using the words from lots of Moholy Naji um, it is not a profession is it's something that you have to have always um, and to you is part of your life and then um, any any of us in this moment like, we, we we have the time like, because they they ask us to 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 be to be a bit frozen and uh, to think possibly there is people you know part of uh, of us are in first line and, and that's a fantastic thing but part of us we big part of us we we have to 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 have this change of, of the paradoxical or paradox in our mind which is uh, thinking um, stop it. for example i think even our home is, is a kind of strange shelter and um, you know as an architect or as a designer i i, I will think you know shelters, shelters are not any more um, real architectonical one i remember the the photo the the, the orange uh, wall is from um, the patio the roof terrace of a house of uh, Luis Barragan and I remember visiting is the, the house was in it's so interesting and and the patio was a void space connected with with the sky and uh, no was was and this little door this this only passage um, I think is a concentrate of many thoughts I have of of what such shelter and architecture or this uh, this other image of, of uh, Olaf Aurelioson, uh, which is part of a land, uh, land art he did uh, uh, in Quadrat, uh, which is a um, headquarters, which is a company in Denmark that I worked for a long time doing fabrics and interlating their friends and there are many other things. Uh, uh, the, the relation with them is very strong for, for, for a long, long time. And I like it because that mirror, you know, that was creating, you know, connection with, with the air, with, with, with anything happening, connecting the earth and the sky in a strong way. And, you know, our shelters, they, they are changing strongly. You know, the, the, a shelter, uh, Beatrice Colomina like, uh, and her husband, they were doing Biennale in Istanbul and they are teachers, I think, from Princeton. They were, they were, they were explaining us that possibly our shelters um, many times are, are, are our digital or our smart home, our smart uh, phone. Like, uh, then I, perhaps now our shelters in, in, in this period are our mask. It's, it's, um, um, uh, or possibly even our shelters is to, to, to sit, uh, and I remember this phrase from Yoko Ono, she sat quietly, but her body was expressing a universe. 
I, um, this idea of getting calm, understanding, uh, we have to, 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 to start again. We don't have only to rewind and re-begin. Re we have to, to begin again, Echo, and means we, we have to use people. We have to understand that this quarantine had a, had a value and was part of our intention when we will begin bit by bit moving Echo, in, in this new action. Echo. We are trying to, to get another time. And, you know, the, the, the ladies you see in the top of the image, they, they are in India, and I, I love them because I'm, they were part of the chain of re relations I have, and they were doing rags for us as a community. We are isolated in, 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 in India, and the, perhaps it's the, the more archaic and more delicate uh, community, and especially for women. And I was speaking with a person which has a company. She was saying, don't worry, perhaps them, in this moment we were speaking with them, and possibly they are, they are still working in home, in, in, a, in a so simplified way that in this moment they are not especially suffering. Then uh, possibly a, uh, this paradox was a very good news or was a kind of interesting news. Uh, I think uh, this virtual world the, the, um, is helping us. Is helping us in this moment, and uh, and I. But we have to 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 understand how to to grow our intent inside it. No, that was part of the conversation. I could uh, to do the seminar or the, the webinar, and uh, I remember those uh, finger uh, those little drawings with my finger tip uh, that I was doing in in my in my um, iPad, and, and, and I invade many photos with them. No, I and it's my uh, perhaps it's a very simplified way to 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 understand to think. Think about how important are all the those rhizomatic uh, uh, connections that are um, lagging in between all of us. Uh, if you see the little drawing, which is a uh, uh, handmade, uh, it was my first drawing for my thesis echo with Achille Castiglione in the university in Milano, and. The Professor, professor was asking about well, what is this kind of little, and it was for me that that dramatic uh, little relation between me, the city, the, the live. This it was a kind of um, multicentrical thing, and uh, I, I, I believe a lot strongly. And I think when when we are speaking about a kind of. Um, uh, rhizomatic relation. We are speaking about something that uh, I was um, I was seeing in in a book that was with me before the quarantine and uh, was a big helper in those days too. Uh, and it was a book from a young philosopher, Italian philosopher, uh, Emanuele Coccia, and is the, the 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 life of plants. But it's not a botanical book. It's, it's more in a kind of metaphysical way. And one of the chapters he was speaking about an argument that for me was important and about thinking about roots and he was saying something sometimes you know those roots that can be um uh, um, strongly amphibian because in, in some way um, the mechanism of uh, the rhizomic uh, roots in some way is they, they can they can create many layers of relation and they and they grow and they, they create layers under the, the surface and and they can regenerate uh, uh, new plants this for example was a, a plant coming it was a photo done this uh, so a few months ago by the street that I love it because the trees is the, the tree that generated these uh, uh, rhizomic uh, uh, connections is not in the photo, but all around the tree, there were all those protuberance, those, those signs of of, uh, of those under um, earth uh, roots that were moving and they were creating many other plants. And, and it was a fantastic moment, Echo. I think uh, possibly Echo became in all of us, it would be tritons and sirene or, or mermaids, Echo, having this capacity of uh, adapting ourselves as children uh, uh, can do is is um, is an important thing and we have to find how no I, I think that is for me an important thing how to find I, I don't mind to be very active in this moment or not but the important is to find in my relations and in my first community or with the other communities how to find um, those amphibian roots that work and uh, so I there is the, this um, Italo, Italo Calvino echo with uh, this book, Six Memos for the Next Millennium. It's a book that many of, of us, designers, actors, we know well. And possibly is in this moment is important always to remember. He was uh, preparing, uh, he was um, organizing his lessons for a seminar, I think he was doing in Harbor. And, and in that summer, preparing all this work um, that he, uh, he, 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 he 
the lessons were about these arguments. And uh, he was given for letter two, but his, his way of, of thinking was always really interlaying many other disciplines. And then um, those uh, those ideas we, we can we can use them in many other um, in other in other lands, you know, um, lightness. But each one of these words were not only related to to um, define comunque, that argument. They were always related to the contrary of them: the lightness to the heaviness, the quickness to the to the slowness, the exactitude with uh, um, anything which is related to any which is inexact. I don't, I don't have the word, but the, the visibility uh, visibility with the with the, which is invisible and what is uh, after which is very interesting and and the transparency and the multiplicity with uh, um, our singularity. But the, the last lesson, which is about consistency, consistency, he, he never did it because he went away. He, uh, he, um, he, um, he died and, uh, and um, uh, there was a lot, of, a lot of thoughts about this concept of con consistency. And consistency is, is, as always, is connected with the notes he, he, he left um, about consistency, where about an story of, of a lot of inconsistency with, with a lot of, uh, was, were not only, you know, creating um, only the, the, the concept, it was playing with the contrary of it. And th you were finding the, 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 this, this concept of consistency through the other words. Then all those um, interconnections for me are very important to, to understand them. As, as I think the are days, uh, they are days in the process of design, and when I see, say process, we have to remember uh, design is observing circumstances, getting um, connections in your mind, connections with others, understanding situations, and then getting answers. But answers they go through through prototyping situations, conversations, and many times they are um, uh, you don't have you don't have the goal, you don't have you don't have the end of the of the process in your in your hand. You you just go on and you you ruin the, the circular. It's, it's quite that you have to, to really when we say enjoy the process it's, you have to, to to have a strong intent and an intent you grows with you but there are some days that here is like a jungle that I was drawing in that in that chair because really uh, there are moments where, where you you don't you don't see um, and the distances many times give us a lot of problems or there are moments as I remember I was in Japan with my team and we were in a, I don't know why in this immense room with uh, um, a lot of people in the not related to us, and a big um, model of, of the city of Man of Manhattan, and not of Tokyo. And we were speaking about a building in Tokyo that um, we were completely lost, but was interesting, the, the sensation. Or for example, the, the last week trying to to speak, like, oh, doing those, the beginning of those conversations by the net, which is new for me, and it's in a moment when I have a lot of questions in my mind, more than answers, obviously. And to share with you is is a is, a, is an effort. It's something that is is um is, is complicated thing. I think it's good and bad, and but it's uh, possibly we need to to share that too. Uh, Normally, my life is, is sharing with, with my first community meetings, doing things. Is, is, things are um, the way of, of doing the process is, is much more comfortable. Now, uh, there are the six weeks I am I am in, in home and all my team is, is in home. And we, we invested in this the last winter a lot of our um, uh, budget in, in, in doing a better network. And we were it was the only good news in this that we're saying we, we could really Really, be all the team, each one in, in each home, and we 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 still doing a lot of smart working. Even if I think smart working is a bit less smart of what we want, because at the end we don't have you know the the, the, the situation where the community can can speak through, and um, we have to grow it. And uh, one of the things I was sharing with with uh, with with um, with the designers who, that work with me from home was this project that I I I saw in Angar Bicocca, which is um, um, a place for installations in the city of Milano. Uh, was really many years ago. I think 2013. I was uh, I was controlling, and uh, it's been done uh, perhaps one year before. And it's done from an Icelandic um, artist that I I I remember I was in the installation. Um, it was a big space and there were big screens and you were seeing um, in each one, one musician in a different room and they were all doing a, a composition. They were doing music all together, but you, 
each one you understood they were only connected by the headphones and they were all divided then you were understanding bit by bit and you were getting inside that story that was incredible because it was relating really the virtual and the, and the real side of our world and there was um, the name was visitors the visitors and uh, he did a trip in, in america i think in the period of obama and uh, he he was in in up um, in up uh, territory of, of up new york and he visited this uh, decadent house with all the furniture inside and all the signs no of uh, uh, decadent culture but he was really curious and he went in in very short time with technicians, uh, engineers, and his friend artists, and they play all together. They did a kind of upcycling of the building, the upcycling of the moment, and they give um, a strong value of relation. And I saw now that in the net, they are orchestras and they are uh, chorus uh, doing this thing. I think uh, in, in that moment, he gave us an incredible potential to understand how we can give more intent uh, the way we we work in in this uh, virtual world. I liked all those artists, you know, they, they, they were those Icelandic friends, and in the night they were coming out of the rooms and they were having um, dinner together. But the good thing that when they were doing the connection, they were all isolated, and at the same time they were all connected. Speaking about isolation and connection, I like this 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 this. Uh, you see, you can listen to me because this is over sound over me. This is perhaps my 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 music in relation with uh, Hayward, because I remember when uh, when I tried to find images to speak uh, about the work we've done. I, I I remember moments when we were, for example, walking by the by the lake and uh, with the CEO and speaking about uh, the, the 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 energy of that lake. Or, or moments when with all the engineers we were speaking and having a, a moment of calm. Um, and I like that the sound of the lake was over me. That is for me important to, to say that it, because those images and those sounds are, are part of, of what the only thing I can believe in this moment. I, I love this uh, photographer. I don't have now the name in my hand, but he did um, uh, photos of some of my pieces a few years ago in Salone del Mobile. He put in them in a little bar in inter places. And the, these old fantastic um, sample and old people were using them and the spontaneity of their relation was um, uh, something that in this moment I dedicated to them. I come. Uh, there is um, Allora Marina Abramovic, another thing that came to my mind. I, I had the luck through a company, Moroso, and Patricia Moroso, which is a good friend, and we worked for a long time together, to meet her in London a few years ago. And then we met with her a few other times, and it was always a really lucky thing. And I would have think about her. I think how much we need her dream of doing a, a Marina Abramovic Institute. She wanted to do uh, uh, and. and she was doing the project with, with Kolash and was, but by the moment I know it's not, it's not happening. But I think more in this moment, we, I think in, especially in this moment, I, I, I think we, we, we have to, to think about how to help to, to recreate. It was a place where you could be even six um, hours and you, you were doing um, some um, actions and, and activities that were helping, helping you to connect with your aim, with your, with your thoughts, with your uh, sensibility, with others. Um, and if for some reason people got exhausted because because sometimes when you get with some very deep things, you get exhausted. It happened to us these days. Uh, the fear, uh, the many other things that, that can be part of our emotion. She asked me to do only a little, uh, how do you say, hand uh, chart. I could to, 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 to carry these people in a room that they could be um, no, so, um, a place where they could rest. And I, I like to, to participate. I, I still dream in that, that project. Good projects, they they still always very long to, to reach. Or, or for example, I from our immense community of, uh, of human beings, uh, feeling and trying to be designers. Like, I, we always have some uh, big brothers. For example, I, 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 can't, I can't forget Bruno Munari. Um, till my roots, uh, the, the beginning of my studies in Milano, uh, there was this, um, uh, this, this shadow, the, the, the image, the, this idea of Bruno in the back of um, Achille Castiglioni that I had to, the luck to, to, to study with him. But Bruno Munari was a man uh, really, um, really minimalistic, but with, I think was a kind of, um, 
in the back of all the the mentality of the of the idea of, of, of industrial design and design and design in, in 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 Italia, he was in the back. And one of these of his um, experiment was this done with uh, original serographies. It was the period uh, of the new uh, machines, uh, photocopies machine. And um, he 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 did in in a Biennale, in different com, uh, through the world, in 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 many circumstances. He he took the technology that was the, the possibility of creating a series of copies and uh, he was doing with his intention um, moving the, the 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 paper or the image in the moment he was doing the photocopy and what was coming was an original was an only special piece and from that kind of very simple um, thoughts on how can you how can you play how can you react how can you with very simple uh, intentions uh, change the value of what we are doing how can you became a designer was incredible i I, the table you see in the side was that I, I was upset with him in that period and we were doing a, a printing work for, for tables and in glass and I was doing a, a kind of three-dimensional uh, homage uh, to an incredible personage like him. Uh, this is one of the, the pages of, of one of the books he did uh, and the, the, the Castiglione was speaking about him, that he was one time with him with a machine in Japan, he was explaining to Japanese people, you are you are the Xerox, me I am this photocopy and uh, there was a mythical conversation I always had in my mind. Or, for example, uh, a few years ago in summer, there was the expo in, in our city and was uh, a lot around the argument of food. And um, young uh, friends of me, designers, they did a little exhibition about fasting uh, just to, to create, you know, the consistency and the inconsistency. And I love it to participate. And I was saying, in the moment, in the moment, I, 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 I do in fasting, the tools for 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 eating, they 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 are devaluate. They, they. Then I we put in our 3D printer that was a very simple 3D, 3D printer. We put the drawings of a, um, a knife, a fork, or uh, different instruments, tools for 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 eating, and we put them in the air in in not in the appropriate way that you have to put them to do them perfect in the machine. And doing like this, the the machine needed to create a kind of uh, um, scaffolding, a kind of little forest of of uh, elements to a structure and, and to, to create the, the, the image. Then the machine was giving us much more than was I was giving to the machine. Then I was making the machine or the technology give us something. And then I, it was just a poetic act, but I, 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 I like to share it with you. Or share with you something that I still say in thanks to the mayor of uh, major of Bilbao, uh, a major that is not anymore with us. Uh, um, a few so a few years ago, he he went away too, and uh, he 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 came one time because my father is from from Bilbao. He came uh, to visit me. Uh, he was in, in, Bilba, in, in Milano and he said to me, well, Patri, uh, I want to do something with you, but I don't have now um, a lot of budget and things, but we are going to do a little, you're going to just do for me a jar. A jar, a little jar, and this jar was connected uh, with uh, a group of of, uh, of um, uh, chefs that were part of uh, slow food and um, and the water of the city. The water of the tap water of the city is is very good water, tap water, and then they were serving in those restaurants the tap water with my jar. You could buy, you pay for the water, you pay for the jar, and all this money was running uh, through um, other organizations uh, to to help the the little girls in in some villages uh, in Ethiopia uh, that they have to to not have education and they have to 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 to, to go and, and 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 go every day for the water and doing those wills that we could create with this initiative we created a, a very a very you know what I I don't know if I explain well he did a very simple thing where everybody were participating with a little help not only putting money you know putting you know intention and participating and we were doing an, an incredible complex thing that he was making it very easy and I say thanks to him too <laughs> that uh, that's an image I like we 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 have um, with Hayward if you remember, uh, you make me share with you a new technology you had a few years ago, uh, which was uh, Bluescape. This name, Bluescape, was always um, 
Uh, it's always funny in my mind because this bluescape was a big, um, a big uh, uh, screen. Uh, now became smaller. I like that idea that changed the dimension. But was the, uh, give us the possibility. We have one in the studio, and we share with with Hayward many of our works. It's helping us a lot because you can work from both sides. You can work obviously with images and voice and and all the, the intents, but with your with your screen. But you can play on it and you can interact. And uh, there was a neocon moment when we were introducing it, and I was not enough happy. It was too much engineer um, intended. Then I said, "Why don't we uh, speak with a um, graphic artist from Bilbao, from uh, sorry, from Barcelona, from Spain, one from West Coast, and one that was there in Chicago? Uh, both uh, the three of them, they were interrelated, and they were doing those drawings which are very um, open to understand. And you could, uh, they were drawing and drawing." from others were coming through the, through the screen and the document we had after, after three days of working together it was an incredible morales of of, uh, of, um, of relation and possibilities I think the potential of this work um, um, still being strong and we have to to it's nice to share it because I think we have to we have to work a lot on it already. Working with uh, Hayworth, I've been working uh, doing with my team, with them, architecture and architecture, working in fabrics, materials, and many physical things. But we, we did other little, uh, that's for example, another little um, virtual experience that was, I think, interesting because I wanted to, to introduce those new tables and I was saying, I need to find a kind of um, something that that make us understand the potential of those places, those tables to meet together. Because I, I was absolutely bored of those conference tables. And uh, through the net, in my phone, in the night, I found that um, uh, searching. I, I, I found that a, a professor in the University of Michigan, two hours far away from from Holland, from the company, and uh, he was doing um, an augmented reality project. Uh, Osman Khan, a lovely friend Echo from that day, and I call him and I said, I, I'm calling you from Milano, I want to work with you for doing a, a little project in Saint Neoc, and he didn't understand anything, but he, he agreed, he said yes, and we did this work that is a kind of river of color uh, that he was investigated, and when you were acting through the table, the table was giving you a reaction, and it was very poetical, and it was something that for me has been very, very interesting. When I see my those hands, I see the hand of one of my assistant. I remember this day she was trying to explain me a project and she was getting nervous. Then she put a paper over the screen and she began to do um, some drawings with her hand. And these double moments, those double um, roots, like those incredible amphibian roots, I, I, I can't forget them. I. I that connect me. I was in, in China doing a trip of work, uh, of architecture, and the last uh, in December, not so far away. And uh, I had the luck to be um, one afternoon with this calligrapher, this old calligrapher, uh, trying to explain me the value of, of their iconography, the, the signs. Uh, and uh, uh, we were so intensely connected. That was, was already so a virtual moment, uh, it was important. This uh, this image is not is not is not coming from Google. It's not uh, coming from the net. is uh, is in my mind from the last summer, and uh, me and my family, which for me is still being my life of design and and everything. We we my family and me we we travel to um, far away of what is our idea of summer, but normally is more Mediterranean. We have other other images in our mind. We were searching for this fog, this this density of the steam, no the the sun sound of, of places like uh, this place was in Costa Rica. And I remember that moment of the, the, the long trip we did then, we were completely lost there. Um, I remember in, 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 in middle, there were all those ferns that um, um, a friend of me by the phone, he was explaining to me echo, uh, that the, 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 those are, they were in the world. Echo, they, the, these are species, uh, these special, uh, this is, this, this um, special, this, 
the fern especially, this kind of, was before dinosaurs echo in the world. And all that thing, and it was, uh, we, were, we were inside a, a kind of, uh, of, of seminar, I think, of, of trying to understand or, or do ourselves a lot of questions. Uh, you can do in many things, you can do it um, inside your home in moments like now, but I connect them. And, and I, 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 for example, we are doing a little research with a laboratory, a French laboratory, laboratory uh, using uh, CWIC. So how do you say al guy, you know, and and uh, trying to to find new ways. And uh, you know, we all know all those bio um, technologies uh, and 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 biomaterials. They are very important. Perhaps I hope this period uh, so uh, that uh, make us I think help us to really help all the people which are fighting for this because uh, because I, I think this is our arguments as you know uh, Neri Osman and person like this are, are in the back of all those research and and we need that they get really more and more important and strongly important but I, I connect that with another image we were in in Bangalore I call this the most uh, virtual and digital and, and, and nerd city in, 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 in India for some clients and the architect working with us took us one two days to nearby a river a river was not even a place and we were eating for those days and within this in this trying to create a, a nice display that was all was really keeping to to the minimum um, elements and uh, I was really I was really honored echo for, for his message and uh, um, at the same time um, I was thinking how important is uh, to, to, to understand, for example, working in hotels. I could show you works we've done, and um, but the real virtual, the, the virtual uh, side that I I keep in my mind, it was this work that I wasn't, I was doing, the, we were doing, it was an Oasia hotel in Singapore with Woha architects, they were doing the building, and to participate to this project as different communities from me, it was complex because the draw was everything, it's been a complex work, and I, I'm not especially happy of what I've done inside, it's not the, the argument, but the, the important thing, that we were all cooperating, and a fantastic idea they had, or doing a building Building that was a building that had this kind of infrastructure with plants and and and, and energy of the building was important as the as the structure and uh, um, the, the building is growing had this kind of red frame outside that now is, is you don't see it quite because it's, it's quite disappearing through the vertical um, plants that are coming through it and and there were holes inside of this garden we were working with landscaper from Japan it was really a, a mixture of of interrelation that was I perhaps I don't explain so well but I am very happy to to be part of it uh, the image you see in the in the other side is Alberto, my husband. That I we went in in winter in in my in my countryside in the north of Spain because I was born in in, in this um, in Asturias in the north of of uh, Spain, Atlantic side. And uh, this is a, a cave that you can only go through two or three hours a day because disappear. And the 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 the, the sign that you see the change of of colors has to do with uh, with that passage. And uh, it's, nature tells us a lot of things. Um, this is Chus, a girl from a seminar we did uh, uh, with a little team in, in, in Wabouche, uh, one week uh, all together with um, a team, I don't know, 20 person, uh, designers, and uh, we were, I didn't want that they use anything that was not part of the place and not related to the to the to the landscape. And she was creating those with nothing. Things she found that those those kind of place for sitting and to see the sunset out. She was fantastic. Uh, working with a company of marble in Italia can be many things. They have an incredible qualities of technology. They have machines of five, even five, six axes. Um, they have many ways of working with you. And they, they, but I, when I was working with them, I call the last six years, I, I always was saying to them, the marble is, is so important thing. It's so, so we, I'm so, I have so much gratitude to, to this material that we have to work in another way. Give me only the B side, what the other clients don't want. And they have, 
um, earthquake. And the earthquake uh, three years ago was devastating. And she, the owner sent me this photo saying to me, it's not a problem because trash is a good news with you. Then we will do a project, we will reuse it. And that was Comunque, the way we were working, using any little part of their material and trying to, to keep a value and, and to have another intent in relation to the company. Hmm. Sometimes trash echo, uh, can be, uh, the plastic trash can be a very important thing. We, in the last Salone del Mobile with uh, Rosanna Orlandi and with um, uh, a group from Taiwan, we were sharing um, a, little, a little work and the intent from, from this work was using, reusing uh, plastic or, or materials coming from uh, PET or, or trying to, to do something. My idea was, uh, um, I think um, um, the phone and the sneakers are two two items, two two, stool, two, two tools uh, that um, could represent us uh, in the time we are living. Perhaps even mask and other. And in this moment, I am confused on which will be the, the product that will represent us. But I think sneakers. I think they, they are um, uh, through society running in a very incredible way, and and they, through ages, through, through different kind of people. It is is a um, it's a tool that I, I, I believe a lot. Then we were saying, let us mm, put it outside of his context. And uh, uh, we, we are going to be um, an extra one done with all uh, recycled and recycled materials. And it's not going to be a runner. It's going to be, in this case, the place where we can lose time. We, we can, the wasting time armchair. And then we were doing by pieces and then we did this construction. And then it is a work that I like because it's not uh, um, even the I don't need the, the, the attitude was not to 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 give answers to the market to, to understand just to, to rethink the, the thing from another point of view. I am uh, our director of Casina uh, for four years uh, and uh, uh, the second year I was working with them. I there was I like to tell you only that thing from my relation with them, but it's a nice, I think a nice little story. We were doing Mm, the the ninth anniversary of the company. The, the company was getting 90 years old. I said, never. We are going to use the metaphor of uh, a virtual world and digital world. It's going to be Casina 9.0. And uh, um, we are going to go in the place which is new in town. There was a new building, Fondazione Feltrinelli, uh, uh, done by Erzog de Meron. Then we fight it. We ask them. We we find the way to, to use that place. And uh, we were doing an exhibition looking to future. Um, thinking how will be our possibilities to the future because um, when we are designers we are always with ideas of this process open to to our future and uh, there were happening a lot of um, things that but i'm not going to tell you that thing what is important thing that in the middle of this uh, um, process that we were thinking um, my father had problems and I had my, my personal life became much more important and I had to leave and, and go to the north of Spain. I was in the hospital My uh, and, and these 15 days before um, the installation we were doing, the installation that was for Salone del Mobile, that was not, it was temporary, uh, will be ended uh, at the end of that week. I, I, I went away and, uh, in, and leaving um, my family and uh, um, strong circumstance in first line. Th there was this through the virtual uh, connection. My team were connecting and giving me it, it was not work. It was like a, a, a really a, a nice balsam because it was something uh, very light. It was was in the, when when I come back to Milano um, after my um, the death of my father i i the event was ended already then it was my more most the only real virtual work i've done in my life and um uh, it's been a um, very important thing perhaps i'm not speaking well too but it's i'm, I'm trying to be sincere uh, the month before this uh, um, period that we are living in this moment. Uh, we, we did an exhibition and it's like if I was closing a chapter of my life, perhaps it's, it's because it's that. Uh, you never understand well uh, uh, signs of things that happen to you. It was in Spain with an exhibition, a little bit a kind of anthologic, non, uh, without a timeline, with choosing some samples of things and creating five rooms, um, speaking about arguments that for me was done with, with a nice curator and then was 
very interesting thing, a nice conversation. But the good thing I want to speak to you is not the, the exhibition, just to say to you that the, the last room was about contaminations. Contamination, I was not thinking the value that we are using, because in this moment, it's word, you know, positive is negative. Um, the, 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 the change, the moment is the paradox is always strong that even the words are there. But contamination in the sense of impollinations was the last room. And the, I, I needed to put, um, to put five minutes of my phone in the wall. And in the wall, I, I was trying to see through these virtual um, words in, in oh, five minutes of my, my phone, how much is my, my life, my, my virtual and, 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 and supposed um, moments. So I wanted to share with people that side. And I don't know if it was good or bad, but I think it was very sincere. And, um, and I, I think it's, in this moment comes to my mind in a very strong way. I'm just saying you bye. Um, that's a team I, I dream, I capital, because in this moment we, we cannot work. We're still working by the net, but uh, we're still being here. Patricia, thank you so much. Um, the images you showed are so inspiring and the, the amount of work that you do from so many different places in the world and and even to show the work from just what you just finished in Spain right before this pandemic started is so interesting. And I know the audience where I'm reading all the comments and thank you all for your comments because keep them coming. So now we want to talk a little bit about some questions. Mm -hmm. And so um, we'll just try to play this easy and be simple. And um, we, if you have questions, you can send them. Um, we, we probably already have more than we can talk about. But Patrick, one of the things that people have asked a lot about is materials and just you've done so much work on materials and, and some questions came up about cra your thoughts about craftsmanship. And I thought it would be a nice, fun conversation about materials. Oh, my, Matthias, we, I think the truth is we were speaking about designing uh, materials. It's not only about materials, you, you know, that if, if we understand that thing from the beginning, then it's important to, but they can be comunque part of uh, the intent we have now. We, we know um, that uh, as thanks to Paul Antonelli, uh, the broken nature and, and many and, and, and nice incredible exhibitions and people and, and uh, cambio I call from former fantasma and, and many we, we know we know that uh, uh, the possibilities of uh, of our world they are not um, infinite they are they are they, they are limited and and uh, we 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 have to to have more and more and more attention on how we use materials then um, possibly there are people doing very advanced in this research me I am a person working for a long time and I think I hope that my invisible connections with people I'm working must all of them be going through conversations that uh, oblige us to 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 have a, a more sincere more, more sincere approach I call, to materials and there's a lot to do and and through materials uh, we could uh, we have a lot to but it's not only about materials. It's, it's the way we put the things together, uh, the ways zero that we can we can we can reach in many circumstances. The, the way we we approach the whole production, the transparency of what we are doing. The, perhaps this is a material, but the material how um, where you are, where are you getting it? It's, it's a very complex uh, conversation. Thanks, and I love your uh, commitment to recycling and upcycling, and that's really influencing also some of your work. Now, one thing that you talked about that I'm curious and people have asked about is being amphibian. And so share a little more of your thoughts about this amphibian life that we have to grasp and be flexible. And I love some of your thoughts there. Well, I think that the uh, perhaps it was just um, a thought that was coming to me strongly reading that book from Emmanuel Coach. And I, I like that that moment he was speaking about, uh, um, you know, Roots uh, that moved the, the rhizomatic roots that, that can became really amphibian, and they they give us the possibility. You know, amphibians they 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 know how to to move and live in between uh, different medias. 
and they uh, when they became um, adult they, they they do it echo um, and we, we perhaps we have to become uh, you know in the passage of adolescence many time of the the amphibious uh, can they they adapt to to new worlds perhaps we we are in a moment where we are doing a passage uh, strongly, we, we we were already speaking. There are a lot of conversation about this this argument and a lot of intent. But I think uh, perhaps this moment is uh, making us think and think deeper about these possibilities to to adapt um, to to the virtual side, but in 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 a, in, a, in the right way with with uh, with projects. We 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 can get we can reach uh, as Bruno Munari more of what we are reaching and we we but we have to try only doing this now this webinar that for me was the first time and I'm a bit uh, uh, I have a lot of vulnerability in this moment but this is okay uh, we have to be humble I think in this moment Nick. yeah great <laughs> we talked a little bit um, this week about life and work and you made reference to art and artists and some of the work you presented today was graphic artists so we'd love so there were some questions about that. We'd love your thoughts about art and graphics and art, and art as it relates to our life and work. Um, can you repeat the, the question in uh, just a moment? Yeah, it was really about thinking today how life and work is becoming blended. Most of us are at oh. home. Mm -hmm. And just the thinking of art as it relates to that, both art and work and art and life. Well, I I think um, if I understood you, I, I think the those um, interrelation in between different in disciplines, I think, is one of the most important thing. Uh, I think uh, not only that. I think um, the, to rethink um, strongly how we all are interrelated, but the different species, like our learning from plants, learning from our relation with animals, relation with our any kind of cooperation and and uh, and relation. I think is. Uh, uh, um, I think inside our community, when when we say we we are not the only uh, we are designer because it's not a profession. <laughs> we when I say that is um, if we have this kind of attitude uh, of understanding that we have an intent, uh, um, perhaps we can we can we can interact with. Many other disciplines and another um, uh, so of the communities. I think it's, it's very important. I think you know, for example, in this moment, there are not so many artists coming out with uh, with uh, strong intent. So, and I don't think uh, that there must be a reason because they are thinking. I think uh, it's a moment of a lot of questions, and perhaps the, the, when they are going to come, they're going to help us strongly because they are the first helpers. They're the the the, the one that. The one at first um, interconnect with uh, with others. Then I um, we are speaking today, but perhaps we. Um, I hope that I, I translate to all of you that is more about my questions and uh, more than my answers. I think this moment. I and think that is important. That's great. There was a few questions about you know what inspired you to become an an, uh, an architect or an interior designer and. Some people ask, like, what's your earliest memory of a space or some space anywhere in the world or at home that inspired you? Could you speak to that a little bit? Early periods. Oh, I don't know. I, I, um, I born in um, Asturias in the north of Spain, and these are um, more than I always. I said to my husband that works with me, and many times, if I if I get a bit depressed, I go, uh, let me uh, take me to the to the seaside there. But when I want to say this metaphor or this image, is because I always remember young, um, being in the beach, the beach not getting a lot of sun because the weather in the north of Spain is Atlantic. Then it's not so not only uh, it's not it's not about uh, sun. It's more about all the other elements and the, the beach many times was coming little, sometimes very big, deep. And this um, stretch space, which is uh, uh, the sea and the earth uh, was for me, I think, strongly pregnant on the sound. It's because I perhaps I was putting the image of of the, the lake of Michigan. Perhaps because for for me there is an argument uh, which is very uh, it's coming from my childhood. I don't know if I play well. I love it, except that um, yeah. like Michigan is much more frozen than where you are from. Well, it's, it's uh, frozen for me is an, an interesting argument. I said at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, one element of your design that is, um, I find prevalent everywhere is there's a human center to your design and people ask questions about um, your design thoughts, but can you speak a little bit how you always feel like the human side should always be a part of the design? Well, uh, uh, so human side design is all about uh, having tools for, for living then and, and how can we find uh, uh, the way to, to to connect with others with the tool you are doing and how to and, and the way we we um, is about our behaviors I could then uh, Castiglione was always saying to us when we were in university uh, if you want to become a designer you have to be curious and obviously after that you you have to understand that it's all about uh, uh, being really interested uh, about the, the way we, we we live we do and uh, what happened to us and then we have to serve first thing serve and think and uh, read and study and study ourselves like then and then to have the capacity of of you know sometimes you know this image you know of you know designers are too much happy or they they, they use a smile but this is um, uh, even this kind of attitudes in, in certain designers sometimes is, is is good because it's not only positiveness because it's a way to try to connect with others and there are many ways perhaps uh, some of them they are, um, some designers they they have to the value they to to arrive through through a very uh, through through media's very very minimalistic and very uh, very direct. Otherwise, they they have another kind of um, approach to complexity. I it's, it's not important how much uh, the way that the, we are a lot of people and we we have to find a uh, different ways. But the important thing is 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 um is. Is, is an attitude of relating to others and uh, to think about others and giving answers. Like, mm. It's good. So, great answer, so. Yeah, a couple more questions and then our time's about up. But there's a lot of young people, I think, on, to, on today's and they're asking, they're asking your thoughts about design school or topics or interests or things to read while they have time. And they were look, asking questions about, is there anything from design schools or things that inspire you that you might suggest that people can read right now? Well, as I was saying, uh, uh, when I was saying already, you know, or, or, you know so uh, Timothy, Timothy Morton, a uh, Hyper Objects, I think is a fantastic book. I am thinking about uh, Emanuele Coach. I, I, think, I, I think, as always, uh, me, I like to read. Perhaps if I am from an old generation, I make a bit of fun about that. I don't know. But what I what I think is um, what I found in these days uh, was not I was reading through the net a lot of things, news and getting things and information and, and even uh, getting some books from there. Uh, but the important thing is, um, you know, each one gets from others uh, um, how he is with the culture he has with with what he really feels like then it's, it's, it's more about more when you when you are reading to understand what you want to, to understand what you are getting from what you are reading you know i and i think perhaps i i found that i an, an old book from from uh, so joseph roth and, and we were speaking about this in in a in, in a little conversation for a triennale and it's, it's, it's a book that perhaps People were saying, "Why they're speaking about this book?" Because I found it in my book, in my bookcase in in my in my home, and I like the idea of the good thing of books is sometimes is when when you go into your library and you, you into your bookcase and, and you find it and you take it and you find something that you read, find a book that you read before and try to read it with another eyes because we are in another moment. And in a moment so different, what you read is completely different. Then I think it's one exercise to understand what it means to read and uh, what we want to learn in this moment, like, or what we are doing. Uh, not only, you know, sharing uh, uh, other books, like, or, it's not so important. I, I love your thought about reading an old book because I've done the same and I love to read and I think it can be inspiring and also can maybe provoke your mind to different thoughts about something you read maybe five or ten years ago. Yeah. So lastly, if you think about lots of people asking about 
sustainability has been a big topic. There's a lot of questions about sustainability. And any last thoughts for our audience today about, you know, as we care about our world, we care about our health, obviously, right now. But mm -hmm. um, I thought inspiration for sustainable or um, different ways of thinking about that. Well, I I, uh, I, I say another time, uh, we are not doing this uh, conversation or this seminar with the idea of like a guru giving um, uh, the solutions from anything. Absolutely. I, I am in a moment very vulnerable and I say another time, I'm thinking, I'm trying to, to understand like many of you. And what I think that I, I only can share with you that my intention is uh, a bit by bit, but we will begin uh, secondary phase after this six weeks I am in home, Echo, is, is to, to, to try to get an, uh, this idea of consistency, a new consistency, to speak a lot with people I'm working, but really uh, how, and in each circumstance uh, in relation with materials, with the process they do, uh, if I'm speaking with a company, you know, what I, what happened to me before this period, that I worked with, with very different levels of, of complexity and uh, working with a little company doing racks is very different than working with a company. Um, and for example, I was speaking now with, uh, and then to, to speak with all of them, to find a, a path of, of uh, uh, which is changing a lot of routes. That I think that is the, the, the important thing. Each case, each situation will give us a, a path, a different path. Like, and I hope to open the, the right conversation and to, to, to find, I, for example, with Casina, we were already the, the year before this incredible long mouth, like, uh, speaking a lot on how to um, work in products that we are uh, understanding the process and and how to do a process which is more more correct, and how to 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 think about the, the all all the elements in the company because the legacy and the durability uh, we have them, but in another way we still we can work in other things. And uh, that conversation that I we believe it because we was part of. Our, I I hope that after this uh, this. Uh, uh, mm, long period, this period we've been thinking and divided, like, we comes out in a, with, with the strongness, with, with, with a certain strongness. I, I hope this is a, is the important thing, like, that other projects, I, for example, we were speaking, working with, with these two young ladies for um, for um, a little project connected with Capo di Monti, which is a, a place that they produce porcelain in, in, in Napoli from long, long time, and it's part of our legacy, and it's incredible to do a little project to and to connect it with, to to recreate with the school of Capo di Monti that they have to to help it, and all this project. I hope that now when we re come back, I go to to reality uh, comes stronger, and we will be helped by by others to to go on this path, and and. Like this, we have to to enhance the intent. Echo. That is the what I help, and it's not only the sustainability. is is, is, is an enlarged idea. Is uh, to understand uh, in in each project or with each company how much you can push or how you can you can move. Echo the the way you are you're in the path with them. Well, Patricia, you have been a trooper. Um, the, and isn't the good thing about technology is while we're all we reference being birds in cages and maybe we want to fly away, mm -hmm. that we can from our bird cages talk to each other around the world. We can interact. We can listen. Mm -hmm. We can be inspired. I think it it is a is it a mo it's a moment of reflection and can be difficult. But you shared so much of yourself your work, your team. We thank, we can't thank you enough for your contributions to all of us for all the many things you do. On behalf of Hayworth, I'm, my name is Kurt Vandersher. I'm our Global Brand Director, and I'm so happy that Hayworth can present this. Next week, we will have another session featuring Greg Hicks. So we'll be live from Palm Springs, California, thinking about really the psychological and mental side of the situation we're in and how to deal with stress, how to look forward, how to find happiness in our life. I hope you can join us. Um, we will summarize some of the comments and uh, we'll find ways to get those out. The session is recorded. You can come back to Hayworth Connect on hayworth.com and share it with anyone you want. Thank you for your time today.